We're TJ and Amanda, and this weekend we're taking you with us to Getaway House, a collection of tiny cabins popping up across the country. Each location is within a couple hours of a major city and designed for a quiet escape. This will be our third stay at Getaway House Dale Hollow, less than two hours from Nashville, Tennessee. We'll take you on a full tour of the cabin, sharing what's provided and what you might want to bring along on your next visit. Let's herkle durkle and sip a cup of coffee as we explore Getaway House. Hi, AD. So this is the getaway house. They all have the same sort of cabin feel. They all literally look the same inside and have all of the same amenities. But each one comes with this giant picture window here. They all have these queen size beds, very comfortable. You can like bounce on it and the person sleeping next to you will not feel it. And there's little lights, they swivel around. They have these feather pillows here. They don't have a top sheet. It's literally just this comforter, which is an ick for me. I have to have a top sheet. You guys can argue in the comments if you are pro top sheet or pro not top sheet, but I have to have a top sheet. It's a sensory thing. This is where we put our bags when we're here. Then you don't have to worry about stepping over them. You don't have to leave them in your car. The first time we stayed at a getaway house, we actually had issues with the water pressure. So we just gave them a call that night. Next day they came out as soon as possible to fix everything. So it's just a nice peace of mind to know that they have this here in every cabin. Now we're going into the kitchen. Has this like nice little two top burner here. Comes with a kettle, all your dishes, a small pot, small pan, set of four for everything. So if you have like friends who are staying in a cabin next to you, it's fun to have them over for dinner. We've done that and I highly recommend coming with like another couple, it's really fun. But I will say this is not the biggest pan, especially if you're gonna be cooking anything like meat that has a lot of oil, if you're doing like tacos like we did one night. So just a little pro tip is try to cook and prep as much as you can beforehand. Then it makes cleanup easier here and then you don't have to worry about anything. It comes with all the utensils you need. Kind of cool that it has these little like olive oil packets for when you're cooking in case you forget to pack some. It's got creamer, forks, spoons, knives. Also this magnetic strip right here is great because it has everything. Also a wine opener. We were not sure if it would have a wine opener so we brought wine that had screw tops um, just to be safe but it does come with this picnic style wine corker. I'll also show you the provisions. It comes with bug spray, tea, and these cool pour over coffees. I love these because it's pour over and they each come with like their own little pour over pouch that you just stick onto the mug. And then of course, hot chocolate. I know you're supposed to be off the grid, but if you have your phone, you can listen to music through this Bluetooth. It's super easy to connect. I love it because I can't stand silence. This is a cool little cubby for your toiletries. A little mirror in there. It's like the only mirror in the place, so. <laughs> And the fridge is tucked away in here. It's got some spots. This holds two wine bottles right here, so that's like perfect. And you can put some pop, soda, whatever you call it, down there. And we actually divide everything up like for the portions that we need so we're not bringing too much. And then the trash can is tucked away under here. Don't mind us, we already used it. Um, but yeah, it comes with paper towels, extra paper towels, a little brush if you have any spills on the floor and then aluminum foil for when you decide to cook on the campfire. That's nice to have. Or if you have leftovers, you can tuck them away in that if you forget to bring containers. This is the only sink in the place, so brush your teeth, wash your face, wash your dishes in here. This is where the magic happens. Two sets of towels, toilet paper, trash can. It has shampoo, conditioner, body wash. The water gets really hot. You're not really roughing it out here. When you come in, they have everything laid out for you. They have these little s'more kits, which are kind of cool. They are $5 per s'mores. We brought our own, so we didn't really use these. Another thing that they do is a cell phone lockbox. It sort of forces you to not go to your phone every five minutes. And then they also always do like a little personalized note, which I think is really cool. And each of these cabins come with this little lantern. It's just a nice little added feature. That way you're not walking back in the dark or using your cell phone light because that should be in the lockbox. It's February now, so we definitely took advantage of the heater that they have. These cabins stay nice and toasty. There are four hooks where we like to hang our coats and towels. And behind the door are a map of the cabins and nature trails. Again, you don't have to bring anything if you don't want to. So they prep everything. They've got firewood that you can use here, along with fire starters. They are an additional fee, and we have learned that if you do use anything, they 
will just charge you on the back end. So after you check out anything you've used, the provisions, these will just get charged to the credit card that you used to book the cabin. The last time we were here, we uh, actually made campfire nachos. We did end up bringing our own cast iron skillet just because we didn't have any, we didn't want to use the pots and pans. I don't think you're supposed to use the pots and pans on the fire. So we did bring our own cast iron skillet or you could just use the tin foil that they have in the cabin. It's nice because this can be raised and lowered. And then it comes with two Adirondack chairs. These are nice, a little wet, so you can either use the paper towels or bring your own towels to wipe down everything if it rains. You can bring dogs, it is pet friendly. And they have a nice little tie-up leash here so that you don't have to worry about your dog running off into the woods or bothering any neighbors. There's a little trash can here so that you can put all of your dog doo-doo in there uh, and just be a friendly neighbor and keep everything clean. Something I think that's really cute about all these cabins is they name them after grandparents of staff members or of people who've stayed before. Ours is named Orville. All the cabins are in alphabetical order, so it's easy to find. The cabin is a keyless entry, so the day that you arrive, they will send you a text with your code and the cabin that you're staying in and you just type it in here and then you're good to go. When you check out, they will also give you a code. That way they know that you've left. Checkout is at 11 a.m. just like any hotel. Towards the entrance of the property, there's this cute little reading library. Oh, <gasps> Harry Potter. Oh my God. This is the book that got me falling in love with reading. The second one particularly, I don't know, don't ask. Colleen Hoover for those book talkers out there. There's no fourth wing, not interested. Showbiz, baby. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to the Away House. <laughs> what do I call these? Utensils? Personality twerk. I hate that. Don't use that. What's my line? Do you want to just take that again? I didn't know what the vibe was. <laughs>